This is a uh, TDI motor out of a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, just kind of doing a circular for someone that really wants to see it. Uh, we'll be talking. Uh, the reason why we pulled it is the turbo, the old turbo, the, uh, the internals froze up, the cartridge. And um, a lot of people don't show you this, but there's a nut, which is hard to see right here on the end. And when the turbo freezes here, um, it freezes at such an uh, extreme rate of speed that it actually can, this nut will un, unspool itself realistically. Uh, and what happens is this nut will go, uh, let's just say, into the motor. It's quite a disastrous uh, mishap that can happen. With ours, we were lucky enough. Um, there's the old turbo right there that when we caught it, the nut was actually still a couple threads on. So we know that that's not what happened to this vehicle here. But... Uh, we go around here we went ahead and did the timing on this vehicle and I'll go ahead and try to take off the timing cover I don't know if I can get my fingers in here and set that aside uh, just I'm going to turn this video sideways here um, hopefully it's right side up but to make a long story short um, what you do is you stick one of the tools right here, I'm sorry, right here where my finger's at, and it slides down that guide and there's a hole that's right there. And you also do the same right here on this, um, which is why it's really important to go to maybe metalnerd.com um, and purchase the $200 kit, 200 and change if I remember, or something close to that. Uh, you put the bolt in here put the bolt in here and you more or less set your position on the tensioner it's kind of like a timing belt on a normal vehicle except for the fact that um, it just it, it's Kevlar I believe the belts Kevlar and you would take this mount off if possible you can obviously do this in the car but we're gonna do it outside the car because the car is already out um, all these pink notches were done by somebody else before the engine came in. And also, something that goes bad, this car has 117,000 miles on it. And this particular, particular um, I can't think of the name right now, the tensioner pulley, uh, was a little noisy. So we got a, a new one from a guy down the street. Um, they are expensive. I bought a used one off of a motor that had 10,000 miles off of it for 20 bucks. But I believe the retail on it with the tensioner is probably around 60. Um, just don't not do it because it is loud when it goes bad. Come around the motor just in case anybody else want to see something else on here. We are um, we are still in the current phase of putting things back together. But a note that I wanted to bring up was when we purchased this turbo used, it has uh, 20,000 miles on it from a friend of ours that has a shop. And when comparing this to that, they looked identical, but now that we've actually had the car or the turbo on the engine, um, it's kind of weird. This whole thing is off-centered a little bit more, almost like it's from the manifold, and we're not really sure why Volkswagen did that. And they also changed this part of the turbo right here. This is off of, I think, a 2011 TDI, and if you look, this doesn't have it at all, and there's a different flange that comes with it also, which is right here. This is... Uh, the one that comes off the 2011, and this is the one that comes off the 2009. So what we did was we took an old turbo hose that was longer right here. We cut it because the distance between he basically about here, you know, here to here was a little longer, and uh, the current hoses that we had only went to about here when we needed to go all the way to there. So um, I'm not really sure if there's anything else I can show you on this motor right now. Uh, it is quite the job. I'm not sure how Volkswagen, the, the uh, dealership, does it, but we went ahead and pulled the whole front end. It was just easier. Pulled the CV axles, and uh, it helps to have a nice cart that can go up and down, and a lot of patience. Uh, you know, we pulled this out in, I think, about three hours uh, because it's our first one that we actually pulled out of a car. So, uh, But something that's really, really annoying 
is, which we have not run into, is if you see this cable here, it comes on down, and there's one wire, which is very difficult to see. You can barely see it with a flashlight, but it's connected way in there. And it was very, it was hard. You couldn't get your finger on it. We had to use a long pick like this one right here to get to the tab and pull on it. And if you look, I mean, the wiring on this thing is just, it's stupid. They could have had a, some disconnect somewhere else. Um, out of all the other Volkswagen wires, I, Volkswagen's we pull, I can't, I can't remember if there's another one that's like this, but this is just a uh, bad design. Keep in mind, guys, this is only for your uh, information only. Uh, this is a professional shop, and um, everything, this is a high-pressure high uh, high fuel rail system, so you need to be a little careful. I believe the PSI is somewhere around 3,000, so don't be an idiot and uh, kill yourself. Thank you.